Okay, this is the second part of the change password tutorial. In the last one, we um, checked if our form was was had been submitted, and we got our, um, our data values in here. Now, bear in mind that inside our database, our passwords are encrypted. So, what we're going to do is, as soon as these uh, fields are coming in, I'm going to encrypt them to MD5 into an MD5 hash. So, MD5. Uh, make sure you've got your brackets on the end here. I've already got them on because I've been fiddling around before. But yeah, so when it, MD5 and this here what I've, that I've highlighted is our um, parameter. So here we're going to have our MD5 encrypted passwords. Okay, so um, we're going to need to check, check these fields whether they exist or not. At the moment when we submit our form, let me just bring it up, uh, we can see that nothing really happens. Okay, so um, I'm going to say if, in fact, no, what we're going to do is check password against db. So we need to connect to our database. Okay, now bear in mind we've connected to our database in uh, several of these pages, say the, the, the login page where we um, have connected. You can put these into a um, separate file and say like include and then include your like connect.php with your uh, like one time login script in. So you don't have to keep typing it out. But for tutorial sake, I'm going to keep typing it out over and over again because um, it's a good way to learn. So we're going to say connect equals MySQL um, connect. And we're going to be connecting to our localhost database with my uh, username is root and my password is nothing. And I'm going to select uh, my database. So that is um, PHP login, I believe. Uh, which I'll bring up the example you can see here PHP login and our table is users so we can use that a bit later on uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a query uh, to get the password so I'm going to call it query get and this is going to be a my um, SQL uh, where am I my SQL my my SQL query and this is going to be a select password we need to select the password from the database um, and that's from users. Remember, you can see here, this is our users table. And then I'm going to say where username is equal to user. Remember, this is our session variable holding the user's username. So what we're really doing is we're selecting our password hash here from this table where the username here is equal to my session name, which at the moment is equal to Alex. So that should be a successful query. Um, you can stick um, at, on the end of it or die um, uh, query query didn't work or something. Be a bit more imaginative with error messages, but as as you can see, I'm not at the moment. Um, uh, same with here, you can say or die, and you can add your error message in. Uh, for time's sake, I'm not going to at the moment. Okay, now we're gonna use this uh, slightly differently. Before we use the while function to loop through each uh, record in the database. Um, at the moment, uh, what I'm gonna do now, and suggested through a comment, um, someone posted a comment to me and suggested this. I'm just gonna say while well, row equals um, MySQL fetch associate. You've seen this command before, and that's query get. And we're gonna set our old password DB, I'm creating a new uh, variable name. Uh, don't mistake this with old password that has been submitted. Our old password inside our database is going to be equal to the row. And rem remember, this creates an array. So this value is password um, because inside our database, this is password here. You need to use the labels. Um, so from here on, we can check our passwords. So checking our old password to our new password is just the same as a simple if statement. So if um, the old password, this is the one that the user has typed, is equal to the old password inside the database. Okay, uh, These are both MD5 hashes because up here we converted it to an MD5 hash. Um, if the old password is equal to the new password, we're going to run a block of code. Otherwise, we're going to kill the page and we're going to say um, old password doesn't match okay so here presuming we've got past the first stage of our uh, validation we've checked the password the old password to the new uh, the old password to the old password in the database now we need to check two new passwords okay and this is just as simple as saying if 
the new password is equal to the repeated uh, or repeat new password then we can run a block of code otherwise we're going to kill the page and say um, uh, new passwords don't match okay so here this is um, success uh, um, and that now we're going to say uh, change password in database okay so um, for now what I'm just going to do is echo out success and I'm going to go back to my page my old password I'm going to, I'm going to type in wrong on purpose so I'm going to put a load of rubbish and my new password I'm just going to type as ABC clicking change password old password doesn't match if I type ABC as my old password which it is and I type say one two three and then uh, a load of rubbish in the next thing we'll get the error message old, ah, old password doesn't match and let's see uh, ABC if old password equals equals old password DB row password query get um, so what we can do here to debug is just say echo old password DB with a break on the end okay and echo um, new or old password and what we can do now is we can run the script again so old password is ABC new password um, two three two three load of rubbish okay so let's compare these yeah they both look the same to me so we can see that that's actually working um, but we've got a problem here if old password equals equals old password DB just trying to see if I've spelled anything wrong Okay, I just paused the video and I found out the problem. Um, if I go back to my database here, I had in fact um, added this in myself, this value, and I've created a space at the end of this, as you can see highlighted in blue. I'm just gonna get rid of that and click go to change that. And I'm gonna come back to my page, uh, log in as usual, log in. Okay, and click change my password. I'm gonna type my old password incorrectly and a load of rubbish for my two new passwords. You can see that my new passwords don't match. Um, we've echoed out this already, we can delete this. So presuming my new passwords do match, we're gonna echo this success message. So let's just go and delete these. They were for de debug purposes. And I'm going to um, type in my old password, my new password 123 and 123. Click change password and we've got success with only one C, but never mind. So I apologize for that last uh, little slip up there. But now, um, in the third part of this tutorial, we can crack on with um, actually updating our, users, um, updating our users' password and just making sure everything's working okay and making sure we don't have any uh, more errors. Okay, so thanks for watching and join me in the next part to find out how to continue. All right, bye-bye.